down. As you see here, you see the full slate of the big of the big toy because the big toy didn't have all the uh, standings figured out yet for the big toy championship game. They still have some games to play. These were the games. There was the notable game. Number the twenty third ranked Cyclones of Iowa State taking care of home court on senior day 76-52 over Texas Tech. Bedlam down in Stillwater, Oklahoma, as the 16 ranked Sooner Sports senior day for the OK State Cowgirls, 80 to 71. Same thing for Texas, the 12th ranked Longhorns finished off the tops of the Big 12 and spoiling K State's senior day, 80 to 52. And coincidentally, West Virginia did the same thing. The Mountain, the Lady Mountaineers spoiled the Lady Bears senior day, 63 to 52. We will get to the Big 12 tournament a little later on in the segment, but bear with me here as we got to recap everything that took place in this in this week for the women's college basketball. As we continue on, we had tournament punches happen over the weekend. First tournament punch came from the Ohio Valley Conference when the Tennessee Tech Golden Eagles punched their ticket as the Ohio Valley champions. Congratulations to the Golden Eagles. Ladies, you are dancing. Moving right along, the next ticket that was punched, the Chattanooga Monarchs. Chattanooga Monarchs, the Southern Conference champions, they are going dancing. Keep it going as we're rolling on here. The Virginia Tech Hoagies, the history-making Virginia Tech Hoagies, winning their first ever ACC tournament title, punching their ticket into the NCAA tournament. Shout out to their head coach, first black coach of the women's team to win the conference tournament in the ACC with a dominating performance over, over uh, Louisville. Great performance by the Hoagies. Looking forward to see them. In the tournament, and they are in it's possible they could get that final number one seed. We already know it's gonna be South Carolina, Stanford, and Indiana. You Indiana, but it looks like Virginia Tech might have made their case for that last number one. We shall see on selection Sunday. As we move right along, 32 and oh. Let me say it again. 30. Oh, okay. 30. I got some 32. And zero is the South Carolina game because they're reigning, defending national champions, the champions of the Southeastern Conference, controlling the Tennessee Volunteers on their way to winning a game that they lost last year. Avenging the loss that they took last year, now they can head into the NCAA tournament as the number one overall team in the land, and the request of back-to-back -back titles continues. Moving right along to the Atlantic 10, the A-10. The St. Louis Billikens, the Lady Billikens, win the A-10 and punch their tickets to the NCAA tournament. Congratulations, ladies. And probably the most dominant performance of this past weekend goes to Caitlin Clark and the Iowa Hawkeyes. Going over the century mark, 105-72 over. The Ohio State, Caitlin Clark with a triple double 37, 10, and 17. The Iowa Hawkeyes Big Ten champions once again. They will be next. Moving right along, the stunner, the stunner of the week comes from the Pac 12. The Washington State Cougars. Took down UCLA to win the Pac-12. What a stunner it was. First and foremost, they stunned Utah as what they stunned Utah, who was the second seed in the Pac-12 tournament. They stunned them while UCLA stunned Stafford. Nevertheless, Washington State stunned UCLA to win the Pac-12. The Krugers are going dancing. And then today we will have another ticket punch beginning that will be getting real shortly as of this recording. The Texas State 
taking on James Madison for the Sun Belt Championship. The one that we punching their ticket to the NCAA tournament. It should be a good match. A Texas set 23 and 8. James Madison 25 and 7. Should be a very interesting match between these two. We shall see which one gets the automatic bid out of the Sun Belt for the NCAA tournament. Later on tonight, FS1, 7 p.m. It is the Big East Championship game. The Yukon Huskies versus the Villanova Wildcats. A rematch of that I think Villanova has been waiting on ever since uh, ever since UConn walked into Villanova and punched them in their mouth. I'm looking for a, a better game, but if Villanova can't stop, Aaliyah Edwards, it may be all she woke. And UConn goes back to being the dominant force of the Big East. So tonight, 7 p.m., FS1, Big East Championship, UConn, Villanova. Should be a good now, beginning today, ladies and gentlemen, starting out very shortly uh, with this recording, the American Championship Tournament begins for the for the women's in the American Conference. You have Temple and Wichita State getting it started off. After that, you will see UCF and Tulsa, followed by Cincinnati and Tulane. Those are the three games to kick off the American Tournament. And that will be going all the way up to March 9th, this upcoming Thursday for the championship game, to see who from the American Con will be punching their ticket to the NCAA tournament. And also going in, it is the Big 12 tournament, ladies and gentlemen. That tournament will be kicking off Thursday for the ladies. March night, the same day as the American Championship. We'll be kicking it off with Texas Tech and Kansas State, followed by Kansas and TCU. We're going all the way down to the selection Sunday on March 12th to see who from the Big 12 will be knocking their ticket to the big dance. By the way, the Texas Longhorns are the number one rank, are the number one seed of the Big 12, followed by Oklahoma. Can anyone, can anyone knock off those two when it comes to the Big 12 tournament? And with that being said, Charlie Screen's newly updated Bracketology, last four buys, Kansas, Mississippi State, Miami, and Marquette. Last four in, Purdue, St. John, Princeton, West Virginia, first four out, Oregon, Arkansas, Syracuse, Nebraska. Next four out, K-State, Washington, Michigan State, and you. As you can see right now, Mississippi State, they're done for playing games as a right for right now. They will be waiting to the selection Sunday. Miami is also waiting. For selection Sunday, as well as Marquette, Purdue, St. John's, Oregon, Arkansas, Syracuse, Nebraska, Washington, Michigan State, and UMass. All these teams that I just named, they are all done playing ball for right now. So they all are going to selection Sunday. The only teams that can help their cause that is on this list is Kansas, Princeton. West Virginia, K-State. That is it. Everybody else on this list, they're done. They already played their conference tournament, and they have to wait and watch, okay? 